Ashley Benson is best known for her role on the small screen as Hannah Marin in the mystery thriller series Pretty Little Liars. And this month, she graces the cover of the summer issue of Fashion Magazine and features editor Elio Yanachi is here to break down all the behind the scenes gossip. Welcome. Hello, good, good morning. morning. She looks stunning. Mm. She was stunning. When she showed up on set, she was in jeans and a t-shirt from a APC, but right away she gravitated towards this dress, which is a Tom Ford. Oh. Yeah. He she, just almost never gets it wrong, does he? It's no. so tailored, it's so chic. Yeah. She actually said it reminded her of what her character in Spring Breakers would wear had she been older in the film. Right. And if you remember, Spring Breakers was that controversial film in 2012 with James Franco, where she played a bikini-clad, very sexy villain. Right. So, Elio, when, before the shoot, obviously you have stylists who go out and say, okay, we've got this beautiful Ashley Benson who's going to be on the cover. Mm -hmm. So you go out and you pick a whole line of clothes yes. so that she can pick any one of them and you'll say, okay. Well, it's a collaboration. She's in the midst. This is why this is so exciting. With this particular cover, she's one of those uh, stars that's in transition, both career-wise and fashion-wise. So she's experimenting, and you can see that with the roles she's playing. Uh, she's in Pixels, which comes out this summer, and she plays this like fierce warrior, video game, tough girl. Um, and she's also in this indie rom-com. And I think that reflects in what she's choosing in terms of her own looks. She is figuring out her identity through clothes. Mm -hmm. And it's fun to work with somebody who's open to doing that with a bunch of clothes that are chosen. Because you could go in many directions, as you know, especially if you have, we had a, up to 100, 120 looks. Wow. Now, Elio, the yeah. people that you've chosen, um, they're all comfortable in front of the camera. We're talking you know, in television or movies, sometimes in music videos, that sort of thing. Sometimes, yeah, they're but, comfortable. <laughs> but, but this is my question, when it comes to fashion photography is a much different animal. Mm -hmm. How much coaching, if any, do these people need? in terms of making them feel comfortable because it's it's that one shot that you need. How do you do that? Well, a lot of times it's the photographer. It's all about the photographer and the mood on the set. So, first of all, you pick a great location. We chose Laurel Canyon, which is stunning. It's surrounded by eucalyptus trees and oaks, so there's that calming, in soothing. California. Yeah, it's in California. Um, and so, once you get that down and you have a beautiful day, that's one of the things that helps the mood. Then the photographer, like Gabor Jarina, who we use uh, a lot, and he's a sensational, they got along so well that they ate lunch together, they were, there was quite a rapport going, and you need that intimacy for these kinds of photos because you can't get that smile or that moment with a stranger. So music, food, what? What's on set? Does she bring stuff? Do you guys bring stuff? We bring the music. It's usually my iPod. I like oh, really? I, I like the jams. I like bringing you know a lot of dance that keeps the energy up and yeah. you know not, nothing too moody. Yeah. Um, and in terms of food, it's always like we ask what a lot of the people want. Um, she was fine. She just uh, I think there was like a, a request for quinoa and chicken, which we were going to have anyway. Um, and so that kind of thing, we don't really have too much going on in terms of like a big ordeal. Right. We want it to be as sort of easy and not uh, splashy as possible so we get the best results. We showed a beautiful group photo. Um, can you tell me about, is that the crew? Is yeah, that the that's family all of or us. Friends? It's yeah. the, Heidi is a stylist, Gabor is right beside her, he's the photographer. Um, and then we have the hair and makeup team. The thing is with her is I think she is at a great place in her career because she wants to play these strong roles. Mm -hmm. And she talks about it in the magazine article, uh, which I interviewed her for, which comes out May 18th. And she feels that after Spring Breakers, which was highly controversial, uh, there should be more female, strong female roles in Hollywood. And she was waiting for one, finally got one. Although Spring Breakers, there was a little bit of a trouble, of trouble because her family hated the film. <laughs> oh no! They hated it. Her mom was in tears. But, you know, she sat them down and told them that this is what she's doing for a living and she wants range, and wants to get out of that sort of high school type cast. Right. Well, it's a beautiful cover and we always love getting the behind the scenes scoop. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, you can get a peek of the full interview of, on fashionmagazine.com today and the summer issue will be available on newsstands May the 18th. Elio Yanachi, thanks. Thank you. Good to see you again.